Hello everyone, today we are testing the Scorpius Toby View to the rear, very nice View to the top, perfect Sides, good You can even see a bit down and front is very, very good No struts And this is an RSI ship Once has one missile Shields front 38, standard max, and I see a red spot in the cockpit, which is strange. I shouldn't have taken already damage. Let's check components. Yeah, only two MFDs mixed is a little bit harder to do. Okay, missile rack already took a lot of damage, 55%. Okay, that's really bad. We are at 99.2, also we didn't lose a lot, still, cockpit already red. One size two missile. Shields front 25, stern max, again, cockpit has a red spot. Not sure what's going on. Let's check components, only two MFDs, usually I prepare those MFDs. Okay, now missile rack 98. Yeah, it's very inconsistent this damage, still strange that front is already red. I mean cockpit has a red spot. We are at 97.99, so we lost 2% health. One size 3 missile. Shield front 23, stern at max, cockpit is red again, components. Okay, now everything is at max. No, two thrusters at 98, another thruster 98, and another thruster 98. We are at 98.92. Two size three missiles. Shield front three, stern max. Again, front is red. We are already in a damaged state. Okay, this is strange. I didn't expect this. Let's check components. Okay, missile rack 36. Truster 89, 88, 88. Another truster 85, 94 and 85. We are at 85.01, so we lost 15% half. Major torque imbalance. Yeah, this is sluggish now. This is sluggish. Those thrusters that took damage lead to sluggishness. Not good. Three size three missiles. Okay, shields front down. Now stern went down. We are in a damage state. Body is deep red. <laughs> yeah, we lost wings and guns. I guess. No? Guns still work, but we lost part of the wings. Power plant 97, 98, coolers at 70. Missile wreck destroyed, all four. Okay, shields at zero. No more shields are fought, so. Quantum drive 3% and thrusters took damage. No more shields. And coolers very low. We are at 77.57. Let's fly. Okay, yeah, very sluggish. Very sluggish. Four size three missiles. Shield front down. Stun at max. And we are recharging, so this time shield generator is not destroyed. You can see the damage model is all over the place. 
We have three size 3 missiles. Shield generator was destroyed. We have four size 3 missiles. It's not destroyed. Okay, our body is deep red. And we lost wings and guns. It's so much fun to have guns on wingtips. So if you lose a wing, you lose a gun too. We are down to two guns. We are at 48.06. Okay, power plant. This time didn't take damage. Missile rack. Three are destroyed. One is at 60%. I wish the damage model <laughs> of Star Citizen would be good. Thruster 43, 22, 22. Thruster 1. 49 won, so I guess we are now very sluggish. Yeah, oh look here. I tried to yaw. This is Max joystick yawing. Okay, she's, I guess, unusable. One size five torpedo. The two memes explain why I do this, and I use missiles and torpedoes as my yard sticks. Scorpius is done at 3.17. In my test, so I have Shep's in standard loadout and high alpha damage. She is tougher than Super Hornet and on the same level toughness wise as Hurricane. In 3.17, she she nerfed missile and torpedo damage. Not a problem for my tests because I test ships relative to each other. In 3.16 a lot of ships were shutting down, no restart because power plant and or coolers were destroyed and this changed in 3.17. Now power plant and coolers are only destroyed when the ship is receiving really high damage. Let's take a look at the patch comparison. Well, there is none. Scorpius is a new ship introduced in 3.17. Would I go into battle in a Scorpius in 3.17? Not really. Scorpius is a poor rule of cool design. I guess people wanted their X-Wing and Star Citizen. But Scorpius is way bigger than an X-Wing. Scorpius has way too many problems. Wingtip guns are bad on so many levels. Conversions problems. In Star Citizen the fire control system takes care of conversions. But it does a very bad job and it only works on things you can lock on. In addition, with the Scorpius you cannot hit smaller ships at a distance of 150 meters and below because your guns cannot converge on it. Even in CHE's official video you can see this very clearly. Okay, this is really funny. This shows exactly what's bad with wingtip guns. You can see the turret guns hitting the target, but wingtip guns are mostly just flying left and right of the target because distance is too short and your wingtip guns cannot converge on this target. Well, I'm repeating myself over and over again, but wingtip guns are bad on so many levels without giving you any advantage, I guess. Being cool is more important than having a functional ship design. Yeah, go Chris. If you lose a wing, you lose a wingtip gun. And having guns on wingtips means more mass far away from the center. If CRG would care about physics, this would mean reduced roll rate. All of this for no benefit at all. Well, it looks cool. Scorpius is a huge target with those big stretched out wings. A much bigger target than a hurricane. Scorpius only has two MFDs in the cockpit. This is very bad. I want two MFDs in my view all the time and two more I can access easily with head tracking devices like Track, IR and Tobi. I want to see my shield status, target status and off center power triangle and self status. One fun day we get the best helmet UI ever, but this is not today. Today you have to deal with only two MFDs in the cockpit. The turret gunner doesn't have any MFDs or radar in turret view. Yes, yet she will address this again. This will be not anytime soon. Being able to move the turret of the Scorpius is a gimmick with very little real 
use. Right now, Scorpius is quite agile. Yogi already rode on Spectrum. She will get nerfed. You can still use the Scorpius quite effectively, but in my book, just too many problems, especially for a new design. I am not against rule of cool or fluff designs, as long as those design choices don't affect usability. But here, those design choices clearly affect usability, so my rating for Scorpius and 3.17 is a 2 out of 10. You can find a link to my spreadsheet and lot more useful guides in the description below. I hope you had fun watching this video and see you next time. Bye! Auf Wiedersehen! Hey, you're still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Camoral underscore SC.